Hey, hey friends, welcome, welcome. You are catching me in my element here. I have no camera set up. I have, my PJs are still on, so I've caught red-handed, but I wanted to come in here and say hey, because it's been a while and I'm sorry I was sick on and off like crazy. And you know what I am all about when it comes to self-care. So I did put off YouTube videos and being on social media for a while, but I did want to drop in before the end of this holiday season rolls around with five tips on how to survive the holidays. And this is not only if you have adrenal or chronic fatigue, but just in general, if you have a tendency to feel busy or like things get overcomplicated and then you find yourself overwhelmed or not completely rested up after you're supposed to be on vacation or holiday, then this video is for you. So there are five tips and I keep to this for myself every holiday that comes around. It's been so vital to leave the holidays feeling good and totally refreshed, refreshed and totally ready to conquer and tackle the new year. So uh, quarter four or the holiday season is usually when I allow a lot of slack or a lot of um, giving to myself really. Um, and then typically the top of the new year is when I hustle. So tip number one that I have for you is gift yourself this time. Gift yourself, uh, time for yourself, R and R, and I know some of you guys have like years end or quotas to me, and it's usually worse over the holidays. A lot of times my work really crams in over the holidays because people are trying to prepare to sell and market for uh, Christmas, but taking the time to actually allow yourself to have a break, to have time off. If you are self-employed or a business owner like me, sometimes it's okay. Okay to say no to business, especially if your financial needs are met, just be okay. Like we, we don't need more work just because it's there or, or because we think more money is better. Sometimes better health and spending quality time with the people around you and with yourself during this time is the most important thing. The next tip I have for you is to enjoy this holiday season. Say yes to the things you want to say yes, but also respect your boundaries and be aware of them. So if you know that normally it's overwhelming to pack your weekend full because you don't get a break before Monday rolls around, then this might be a good time to limit yourself to one event to go to over the weekend instead of packing Friday night and then Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening and then Sunday evening with things to do. Make sure you know where those boundaries are because you really want to set yourself up for success. It's easy during these times to say, well, it's okay for now, this is an exception, and have all these things stack up on you and kind of creep up on you until you tip over the edge and fall. And that's what we're trying to avoid doing so that we can really enjoy these holidays to our fullest. The next tip I have for you is it's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. I. I know it's the holidays and I know people are taking time off and I know it's really easy to feel obligated and to want to. I shouldn't even say obligated because I know for most of us, we want to go and do these things and spend these time with the people that we love and that we care about, but sometimes you have to take care of yourself first. It goes back to that reference of when the airplane's going down, you have to put your oxygen mask on first because if you're not breathing, then nobody else is. And if you're not enjoying, then it's not worth taking the time to do so or to bring in negative or heavy energy into those situations. So it's okay to say no. It's okay to explain yourself if you feel like it and let people know, hey, I'm trying to respect my boundaries and catch a break because I'm always hustling and working hard and let's plan another thing next time. We don't just have to go the extra mile because it's the holidays. The holidays is convenient because most of us have time off and we have the ability to have that flexibility, but you also don't have to obligate yourself to it either. The next tip that I have is don't overschedule. This kind of goes with respecting your boundaries and being okay saying no, but I also wanted to put this down as its own thing because sometimes we overschedule ourselves. We say, today I'm gonna clean up the whole house, then I'm gonna decorate all the Christmas decorations and then I'm going to prepare the the bread that I'm baking for you know tomorrow or the next dinner or whatever and we have a tendency to overbook our day and to want to accomplish so much and it's so important for us to take it easy I I absolutely love the idea of going the extra mile and putting an effort to give and to show up for other people. I'm all about that. So do those things, but just don't overdo it. Don't overschedule yourself. Lastly, watch your food and sleep. 
So it's the holidays, we don't have to wake up early if we're going to work usually, so we stay up late, watch movies, play games, drink, maybe have more coffee during the mornings, maybe eat more sugary foods, the snacks are always around, and if you don't watch your food and your sleep, this will pile up on you, and by the end of the holidays, you just feel totally worn out. It was fun, it was good, but ugh, exhausted, not ready to start the new year again. So it's so important, I like to tell myself to first eat all of the food that I need. So a lot of times we go to dinner or we have potlucks or we have parties and I'll eat the food that I know is good. I try to make the good choices first, have salad, eat my meal, and then I'll be eyeballing like the sweet treat or the extra something that I wanna taste or try. And typically when I do that, it helps me not over consume those things. Cause you'll notice like people will bring the treats out first and you start snacking on it and then you're not really hungry for your actual meal. This offsets and throws our body off balance so badly. And then I also stick to allowing myself up to two, if I'm really good, late bedtimes during the week. And then I really focus on those five days of getting really good rest and just really sticking to it so that I maintain a good sense of balance of energies throughout the rest of the season. So I wanted to pop in here and say thank you so much for your patience. And I'm really excited to have a conversation and chat with you guys. There will be more content coming soon. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to DM me and I will be back for more. I hope these tips help. If you like it, let me know by hitting thumbs up because I don't know if my comments are here yet and subscribe if you haven't for more on how to create life on your terms with energy and freedom. I love you guys. Happy holidays and I will see you soon.